Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. Mexico, no, I'm not playing as Mexico, but we're playing as a combined syndicate of America, everyone. And we are about to smash the second to last, third to last, final enemy in this ultimate American civil war. Why do I say that? Just because I see New England over here, and these bastards claim that they are America. That they are the spirit of America, and obviously... If you can tell by uh, how thick we are right now, that's not quite right. Anyways, uh, I also bring up that because I want Hawaii unified in my country again. So hopefully, maybe, if we join the same faction, if we, you know, talk about it, maybe they can come join us once again. Because I really would like them to join us once again. You know, just to be a little bit more historical. And besides, if, if they say no... Well, let's just say their military isn't the best. They got, oh, what's that? Revolutionary welfare. Gotta love it, but where are you going to get the money from? I don't know. From the individuals, I guess. Uh, something tells me, even though, yeah, they have France, they got Union of Britain, they got the Northern Italians. It's not extremely strong, you know, the Third International. But if I can win this war, which we're just literally picking up right off where we left off last time. And be a little bit more thoughtful about how we execute our orders. We um, will make sure that we fully recover from this war. Yeah, I'm still recruiting soldiers too. But it is my eventual goal to get New England, get Canada, probably annex Canada into the combined syndicates of North America. Maybe even Mexico, I doubt it, but Mexico seems like a pretty good nation to help have help us out in various pursuits. John Tisa, he's level 3. He's very good at defending stuff, I suppose. Uh, go ahead and start doing some of this stuff. Because why not? I didn't want good uh, supply situations. You know. But something tells me, even though we're suffering quite a bit of attrition, the Pacific States, they might be running out of a few boys here and there. Now, they didn't realize, but they should have done, like us, is promote gender or sex equality so that men and women could both fight in the war. Don't you see how much more manpower or person power, people power you have if you let both sexes fight? Hell, let's let the trannies fight too because we, we need the manpower, p person power. Yeah, people power. Yeah, yeah. That's how come we got so much uh, power in terms of numbers of people compared to their pesky, small, California-led uh, republic terrible government thing cool yeah yeah totally more airports yeah really awesome yeah all right anyways uh air defense bonus for some of this stuff uh, so actually we should probably do more naval stuff just so that we can get some bonuses to stuff like this yeah let's do more naval stuff oh, do we have anything else sure colorado yeah we'll take a single colorado division because hell why not Oh, San Diego. How many divisions are fighting in San Diego? Three. The New York Division, Northern California, and the PSA Resistance Rebels. Send you down this way to help kind of smash them up. Uh, actually, it's 1940. Should focus more on ships, but I do want some more air power. We'll start switching over. Oh, but this takes only 79 days. Let's do that since we already are using tactical bombers. We might as well. Uh, casualties. Yeah. Pacific States. Yeah. Equipment levels. Oh, we are running out of artillery, so that's actually a cause of concern right now. Um, there we go. That should be better for us. Awesome. Very cool. Even if we don't have a lot of artillery. I mean, they're literally running out of manpower and equipment, so that's okay with me. Cool. Ace pilot promoted. Great stuff. This war is almost over. And then we get to focus what we want to do after this. Oh, we're, oh, we're, oh, we're actually out of guns. Oh man. Shit. That's not good. We have quite a bit of motorized though. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Actually, honestly, I guess I could put you over here. Come on, guys. You got this. They literally have no strength left. 
Oh, our air superiority is not very good right now. But that's probably because we don't really have that many air bases around here. Yeah, that's probably why. Oh, fuel. Um, you know what? I'm going to continue building up even more civilian factories. Just because we are going to need a massive industrial base when we are at peace. Yeah, and we'll definitely need more dockyards and stuff like that too. But, hey, even though we have full fuel, we are still training our ships. And you know what? You can go ahead and repair. That seems pretty good to me. And down here, we're still building that up. Uh, we could probably use better lighter ship hulls. Um, we're not really researching any sh light ships. You know what? Let's take these off and put on a light ship. Oh, advanced light ship. Well, uh, let's get rid of that then. Oh, but this is a cruiser, perhaps. Light attack. I uh, hope I have enough stuff for this. Uh, light cruiser batteries. This one, this one. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's do the bottom stuff first. Light battery. Hmm. That's really for destroyers. I don't mind another one of these. Because this one, light attack and light piercing. But this does... Oh, actually, only one of those gives you more HP. And this does slow you down. God dang it. 5 to 7. Or 2 and 2.5. This does make it a little harder to produce. Uh, I'm going to do that one a little bit later. Cool. Uh, de definitely fire control, because that will help. Sonar? Uh, I need I need radio on these things, but whatever. It's fine. Very fast things. Secondary batteries. Yeah, better cruiser armor. Up here, plane manipulation. Surface detection, sub-detection, less HP. Uh, reliability. Oh my god. Reliability goes back down further. Way down. Holy. Oh my gosh. Minus 20%. That ain't worth it. I'm thinking about actually not even using this then. Hole specialization? I need a different type of hole specialization because even though I love surface detection and stuff like that, 20% is not worth it if we are more able to be detected as well as uh, losing HP. This, I mean, I would love to do this, but we don't even have that, so I'm not even going to use that. So be it. Uh, so we have currently a battery, a light thing, some anti-air, you are a rapid-fire gun, which actually, if we do this, we'll definitely get more light battery attack, but I don't mind actually adding in this because this will give you more anti-air. Uh, actually, huh. I could maybe use more anti-air. Level one. Oh, we only have one anti-air. I want more anti-air. We already have one of these, so let's get rid of that and just put on some more anti-air. Because we can probably get anti-air upgrades eventually. That's what I use light cruisers for a lot. A lot of anti-air. It's got a little bit of attack. It's got a little bit of H... It's actually very fast. Very, very fast. Awesome. I actually really like this. We made a really good hole here. Great. Good job, guys. Uh, Red Navy, please. Thank you. And you're going to catch all the rest of them there. Great. Wow, we spent a lot, long time with that. Also, I want to let you know that I will have to leave this episode a little bit earlier than I would like to. So, it, this video will definitely be shorter. So, And yes, I am recording all today's and the past five days videos in a single day. So, I love reading your comments, but it's just I can't really respond to them if I'm recording them in one day because I will be gone. The Pacific Rebels... Increased activity by our Pacific supporters in the combined syndicates of America. This is like we had earlier with the AUS, so we'll see what happens. Uh, do they have any national spirits that make it harder for us to fight them? Yes. They actually get a 25% bonus against them. So I'm glad I took off extreme you know, fighting power. You know, for guys to be just careless when they attack. But if we could capitulate LA, that'd be great. Nice. Washington State is pretty much done and over with. Oh, Maurice Rose, you finally have another upgrade? Or are you level 6? You level 6. Not bad, not bad. Not. Oh my god, Smedley Butler. I love Smedley Butler. Butler, yeah, so good. You don't have upgrades? No? Alright. You? How about you? No? Okay then. Good, they're walking, giving that walk of shame. 200,000 men have been lost to these 
bastards. Oh, so good. And LA is still not fallen yet. Yeah, we need more guns. Oh, my. you know what? Let's stop the attacks. Stop the attacks. Except for LA. Yeah, you guys stop. Cool. Yeah, attrition is so bad right now. Holy cow. Go ahead and try to move in there quickly if you can. Oh, we are out of support equipment too. Yeah, that's not good. Well, I'm so glad we didn't do the ceasefire because that would have been really stupid for us to do. Uh, Arkansas Revolutionary Guard, that's fine. Go ahead and go over there. Cool. You know what? Just have everyone else stop. Just stop the attacks. You guys stop as well. Just. I don't want you to suffer too much more attrition on that side. So I'm going to put you over here. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put you on the border against New England. That might help reduce some of the attrition that we are suffering here. Oh, but then again, there are quite a few holes in this area. So that's not too bad, actually. Fresno has someone there. LA. You are literally on the fritz of dying. And we do want to w get rid of this push against the syndicalists, so... Uh, Kansas, sure, why not? Fighter Veteran Initiative. Let's do this one next. Cool. Go ahead and try to move in there. Uh, take out these areas. That'd be great. Cut that division off, then we can eat it up and destroy it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They're attacking us, which is fine with me, because then we can attack them right back and maybe starve them out. Or if not, that's still okay. We do have some cav moving this way. Very good, very, very good. Good, we're producing things, civilian factories. Oh, we no longer get the effects of push against the Pacific, so now we don't we have even a further debuff against these people here. I need to create, or research, logistic companies. Come on, PSA, do something. Do something, huh? Attacking? Yeah, probably not a good idea. Attrition, pretty bad right now. Pretty bad. Send you three this way. Send yourselves this way. Nice, they're attacking us. Let's get that one next. Lots of casualties, lots and lots of casualties. But there's a lot of open areas here. Holy smokerinos. Battleship effort, very good. Uh, heavy cruiser models? Eh. Research upgrade bonus. Actually, let's do that one next. As much as I want to do more stuff with the Navy, I think that would probably be pretty good. And at this point, I'm running out of supplies. So I'm only going to do two at a time, actually, so... And I don't need you anymore, so... Hopefully that'll cut down a little bit on the uh, need for equipment. Cool, very good, very, very good. Uh, oh my god, that's a lot of divisions around here. Extra divisions, yeah, we got enough divisions as is that need supplies. And we'll recruit in Washington. Very nice. Let's see. Export focus. Can we add someone here? Power projection, don't really need to focus on that. Elizabeth Gurley Flynn. Well, we might be able to get a R Rolf Chaplin and replace him with someone else. Monthly opinion, same ideology. Land for construction speed, less political power. Is there anyone else that can actually benefit me? Oh, that's not bad. A little bit more political power is not bad. A little bit more p political power there as well. More, more, um. Uh, but but 0 0.04 probably really isn't worth it. So oh god, don't 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 freaking attack. Yeah, just do that. Just do that. Just go ahead and hold because I don't want you to screw up our you know battle lines and stuff. Uh, we're still losing some. Uh, what do you call it? What do we do an attack here? Oh, it's paused. Yeah. All right. I mean, they don't have a lot of strength. It's definitely May, and we are winning, so that's good. That's very good. 
most of our soldiers, or at least a lot of our soldiers, are actually over here now. Cut these guys off if you can. Go and go in here. And I'll send one of you guys come here as well. Surround Salem if you can. And when is our next research doctrine done? 60 days? Research doctrine. Our land doctrine. Awesome. Take one of you. Come over here. Oh, I guess take two of you, I guess. Come over here. Awesome. I wonder, if I just attack now? Carefully, carefully attack. Would that be good enough? That might be good enough. Nice. The Washington revolutionaries are here. Good job, guys. And we want Oregon next, which also has a single division. Let's go ahead and try to end this war. Eh. eh they're not very far to capitulation, but Portugal is. Portugal is. Nothing else has happened on this front, which is fine. Which is more than fine. Ooh, oh, this state is back. Russia might be having some problems with Mongolia. Uh-oh. What is going on in Russia? Scott, squ combat squads at the fact... They're out of manpower? Oh, no. Oh, no. Mongolia sells quite a bit. Their puppet has a little bit. Look at that hat. I love that hat. Holy cow. Yes, I should be completely distracted as I'm taking out the last remnant of the Pacific States or the Second American Civil War. Come on, crush them, guys. Crush them. Crunch them. Take that airbase. Yeah. If we take that airbase, we should have a pretty good amount of uh, bases to destroy their planes. Nice. You guys are all doing a, not a good job since you're not going to Fresno. You're not taking anything here. Not taking even San Francisco. Sacramento is now the capital. Oh, we took LA. Great job, guys. We freaking took LA. I don't care about the deficit. Our deficit probably isn't as bad as their deficit. Central America has joined us. The third international. Probably soon to be followed by uh, Mexico. Because they're totalists. So, Let's see. Come over here. Look at this guy smile. He's so happy. Come on, take every port of you... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. They got quite a few divisions down here. Oh, good, good, good. Let's do that next. You get replaced by these guys. Actually, how much longer? Oh, that's going to be quite a ways away. We might as well upgrade the tactical bombers then. Let's see, let's get one, two, three, one, two, three. And then, eh, well, that won't work out very well. Because that will still lower our agility. Better reliability, we take that off. And replace that with even more engine stuff. Plus, 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 plus. Good. What the? What? God dang it. Now i got to redo that again. Man. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Whew. Thank God. You guys become these. <clears throat> I'm gonna add a lot more guns. Lots of guns. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Maybe sending you to the other side of the coast was probably not a good idea. You, though, will help kill these guys off. Good, good, good. If we can take San Fran, that would be awesome, but obviously we can't. Yeah, go and take that airbase. And they are so close to capitulating. 84% of the way there. Oh. Um. Looks like Bharati Akami took three states. Nepal was annexed. I did not know they were even at war. Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh. Oh, it looks kind of erect. Oh, God, no. No, please. No, no. This is a PG game. Probably PG-13. Oh, that's, that's a movie. This is rated T for teen, right? Maybe M. No, there's... Hmm. I don't know. I can't tell you. Not really sure. Sorry. Nice. San Francisco is surrounded, which means these guys will suffer a lack of supplies ultimately. Just kick them out. And the battle is done. Alright, go extreme. Uh, and, okay, you when you abandon your capital, you will win the war. According to... PSA logic, Pacific States of American logic. How many divisions are actually in here? One? No, two. No, that can't be right. 
Three. That makes more sense. Is Walt Disney a leader? No. But James H. Doolittle is. Cool. This guy's be done. Dusted with. You guys have five divisions over here. Go ahead and help. Go ahead and help them out. Come on, Oliver Law. I want to see how many divisions we're going to lose when we win this war. Sacramento. Herbert Powell can't do anything. Powerless to stop the inevitable. Awesome. 205 factories. My goodness. Can you imagine what we could do with 205 factories? Oh, wait. We need repairs. Yeah. There you go. And actually... Don't do that. Don't do that. That one. That one. Yeah, a lot of these places are not very good. Uh, Miami will be okay. The fall of Sacramento. Syndicalist forces have been fighting long, difficult skirmishes with Californians' conscripts across the Rockies. Today, their efforts came to an end as they finally descended on the city of Sacramento after a large-scale assault across the American River, it being the capital of California and the seat of the Californian state capital. While not a strategically important city, it signifies a secure syndicate hold over the Rockies and as a central... As the entire Central Valley now opens up to syndicalist soldiers, many experts agree that the Pacific states of America would be wise to come to terms with the CSA. Well, death is probably the only way that they're actually going to be able to do anything now. Sorry, but not sorry. Uh, L.A. will be fine to come to Northern California. Will not be. Cool. Uh, next, subs, battlecruiser support, radar. I want air doctrine, since I'm doing so much of it already. And is the war over? No? I guess not. Okay, so San Francisco's got to die. They got four divisions there. Yeah, they're not going to hold out for very long. Cool. And we got an Oregon Revolutionary Squad. Southern California has two militias itself. Very nice. Go and help out against San Francisco. I hear they poop in the streets there. So really, put them out of their own misery. Awesome. And the collapse of the Pacific States. Swallowed up by the combined syndicates of America and other American factions, but just mostly me. Now, what is left but the last remnants of its army. Now, demoralized and suffering from mass desertions, but holding out against all hope that a miracle might save them. Some leaders have already met with syndicate government generals to negotiate the terms of their inevitable, inevitable complete surrender. Oh, you shouldn't have rebelled, baby. Look at that. Disgustingly beautiful. And that, my friends, is the end of the Second American Civil War. Now, it's time for us to demobilize and really try to restore ourselves to what we previously knew. Wow, we are really injured. Wow, then. But hopefully, after once we see how many soldiers we have left, maybe we can send some soldiers to help out the Commune of France, maybe help hold the line, maybe push, maybe in Portugal... And what could have been the greatest capital suppressor of the 20th century, oh god, is now firmly under the control of the working class. Throughout the country, the working class celebrates its liberation from the de depredations of their bourgeois masters. While there's still much to do, today we can celebrate this victory and savior, and savor the heir of an America, where, for the first time, each man is truly equal, and each woman and trans person. Oh, right then, we now get a terrible, oh my god, recovering from the Civil War. Oh, no, 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 no. Solidarity forever has a price. Oh, God, look at these divisions. A lot of these have been... Fighting for America has been removed because its prerequisites are no longer fulfilled. Negative 19% stability, great. More weekly war support? Mm, oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's get the hell out of civilian factory economy. We're going straight to early mobilization since I have some more political power. End of the Second American Civil War. Has, strained, or has already strained its relations with Canada and already looks forward to becoming the vanguard of syndicalism in the new world. America has changed forever. Oh my goodness. We basically got terrorists all over the place. Economic depression. Oh my gosh. But since we have 212 factories, we're going to continue just building up a massive mili massive industrial base. Uh, we'll do that here as well. Um... But I don't want to neglect everything else. So we're going to build some in New Jersey. Oh, New York City. <sighs> yeah, I suppose we can put that on top. And then one more. Fuel will be okay since we have Texas now. But rubber is still going to be a problem. But I want to make sure that we will do well. So some more civilian factories. 
Uh, any better, anything better than 60? That's not on a coast. That's Maryland. That's on a coast. Um, 60, 70. Wow, California kind of sucks. Oh, looks like uh, we'll do Indiana. Cool. Cool. So with that in mind, guys, I've got to leave early, a little bit earlier to make sure that everything gets processed and done and ready. But we have finally ended the second American Civil War. I'm not planning to join the Third International in their fight against capitalism and imperialism yet. But we have an election coming up this year, and we'll see what direction we take. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching this entire series so far. We've been doing super well Sometimes, sometimes not super well, but we've had it, we've enjoyed it regardless. And with that, mind guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you like the vid. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we try to maybe get more than negative stability. Thanks for watching.